Good afternoon, church family. It's Friday afternoon, and I want to take a moment and just kind of talk to you and update you on some things that are happening in the life of our church. Let me begin by reminding you of the great words the Apostle Paul says in 2 Timothy 1.7. He says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. I say that because we all are aware of what's happening in our world and our nation in our state and even in Amador County with the coronavirus, COVID-19. And with that is the reality that there are certain things that we've been notified by our county health department regarding what is wise and good practice in terms of meeting. Given the, the advice and the recommendations of the county, we've decided that the best thing to do for our church family to ensure healthiness and safety of all of our church members is to postpone our services here on campus for the immediate future. That means that we will not gather here at the church to worship, but we will have worship services online. That's right, we're going to gather our worship team and myself, and we'll have a live YouTube streaming video of the service at 9 o'clock and 1045, our normal worship hours. We will have those in place. So you can worship online. Again, we won't have worship service on site, but we will be online. So I encourage you. Here's what I'm asking you. In fact, stay home this Sunday. Don't come to the church, but gather some people and or get your family and watch and worship together online. Best way to do that is to go to our website, scnaz.org. Up in the corner, you can click the Watch Sermons little line, and it'll come up to the YouTube channel. Or if you have YouTube, just go to YouTube and type in SCNAS, subscribe, and watch it live. Why are we doing this? Well, we want to protect you. We want our church family to be healthy, and we know that it's just sometimes the best action is to be prudent. And the advice we've received is that we should just kind of limit the gatherings. So... Next week, we will not be having our gatherings. Our Monday night men's and women's will not be gathering. And we and youth group will not be gathering Sunday night. So, what am I asking you to do? Stay home, but worship as a family by watching the live stream on YouTube. Second, this is a great opportunity for us to be the church. Like I said, the scripture says, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So I want to challenge you, be present in your community, be aware of those who may be suffering right now, and learn the joy of giving and sharing. In fact, don't be a hoarder, but be generous. Give a roll of toilet paper to somebody who may need it there. The third thing I want you to do is just be, just be aware of the opportunities that God will give you. And as we pray through this, as we ask God to help us, I guarantee you, God's going to use you in ministry. Remember, we're the church of Jesus Christ. We're called to be the givers of the hope. So there's not fear. There's the opportunity to be Jesus. So don't panic, but pray. Be part of God's community. So again, this Sunday, stay home. Watch the service online. You can even give online. You can give your tithes and offerings online. And then be ready. We'll give you updates the next week and throughout this week on what's happening and how to be aware, how to be part. But know this, God is here. Our God is bigger than problems. And he is able to give us wisdom and peace and his presence through this whole journey. So be the church. And let's worship together on Sunday online, but not on site. Praying for you. I love you. And God's going to be at work in our church in the days to come as he uses us to be his witness in our community. Blessings to you all. Amen.